Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make perfect homemade French bread. Making your own French bread at home is not only ridiculously cheap, it's also fairly simple. It only requires a handful of ingredients, and it's really all about the technique, which makes this a great video recipe to share with you today so I can show you every step of the way. We're gonna start with two cups of warm water. Your water should be just warm to the touch like a baby's bath water. You wanna keep it between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're gonna add in one and a half tablespoons of instant dry yeast. I use instant because it doesn't require any proofing. Along with one and a half teaspoons of salt and then four and a half cups of all purpose flour. We're gonna add somewhere between four and a half and maybe five cups of flour in this recipe total. So we're gonna start on the low end to play it safe. The actual amount of flour that you add during bread making changes depending on a variety of factors like the weather. So we'll start on the low side and get this mixing. Now we'll watch it as it starts to mix and see if we need to add any more flour. You'll want to wait until the majority of the flour is mixed in before making the call on whether or not to add in more. Now I can see that the dough is having trouble sticking to the sides of the bowl, so that means it needs just a little bit more flour. So I'm gonna add in about another quarter cup. Keep on adding flour a little bit at a time until your dough is able to pull away from the sides of the bowl and leave it clean. Next, we're gonna transfer this to a lightly greased mixing bowl. I'm gonna turn the dough over a couple times so it gets a little bit of grease on it. Then cover it with a towel and let it rise until it's double in size, which will take about an hour, give or take a little bit, depending on how warm your house is. Once your dough has risen, turn it out onto a clean surface and divide the dough in half. And then we're gonna roll each half into a large rectangle. I make mine about 18 inches long and 11 inches wide. Then we're gonna roll it up as tightly as we can from the long end. You want it to be nice and tight. Roll it all the way. And then I'm gonna take it and roll it so that the ends get tapered off. This is the technique part of French bread making, and you can see it's actually quite simple. Next, you'll wanna place your loaves onto your baking tray. You can use just a regular baking tray, or you can use a French bread pan that looks just like this. It has a whole bunch of holes in it for even cooking so that the heat can get all the way around the loaf. Whatever pan you're using, you want it to be lightly greased, and you wanna place the loaf seam side down. If you plan on making French bread fairly often at home, I highly recommend buying the French bread loaf pan. I'll give a link in the video description. It's actually really cheap and it does make a huge difference in giving you that bakery quality loaf right at home. Next, we're gonna let these rise for about 40 minutes. After it's risen the second time, take a sharp knife and score the top of the loaves with little diagonal cuts that are about a quarter of an inch deep. Then take a beaten egg and brush it over the top of the loaves to give it some shine. Then we're gonna bake these in a 375 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Your bread is done when it's a nice golden brown on top. Now, just like other baked goods, it's best within the first 24 hours. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this French bread as much as we do. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.